functional neurological disorder diagnosis requires a neurological evaluation. And this is why a diagnosis can only be made by examining a patient at the bedside by a neurologist that is very familiar with the wide spectrum of neurological manifestations that can happen in uh, an expression of tremor, jerks such as myoclonus, chorea, gait disorders, etc. The two elements that are important for the diagnosis are the ascertainment of variability, what we call inconsistency, of the expression of the phenotype, the uh, modulation of it with relatively uh, minor tasks. Uh, some patients, for instance, have an, a disorder that gets affected by uh, the types of activities we ask them to do at the bedside. So inconsistency just means that there is variability that's beyond that which is accepted to be part of other neurological disorders. And then the second component is to determine the extent to which the manifestations we see in them is incongruent with the rules for the different movement phenotypes. Uh, so for instance, in a tremor disorder, tremors tend to have a very uh, uh, similar frequency or rate. If, uh, for instance, somebody has a tremor that changes in frequency, sometimes can be faster, sometimes can be slow, um, that's uh, a feature that is incongruent because it violates the rule of a steady frequency. If the tremor uh, is of a certain frequency and it is affected by an activity at a different rate in an opposite limb, that's also incongruent and that's called entrainment. So these are the two elements that we use to define the diagnosis of a functional neurological disorder.